Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Austin back again with some simple video series about Git. What you should note is, you shouldn't be a web developer to learn Git, you can be a designer, anyone that wants to keep track of his or her files, collaborate with other people across the world. Let's say you're in India, I'm here in Uganda, you're in the USA, we can easily work on the same project using this tool and it's also one of the industry standard that people use in their day-to-day -day life. A day in the life of a programmer, Git must appear. So guys, this is what we are going to be looking at in this video series on the channel that I'm going to be publishing very soon, starting with this. What is Git? And I'm going to read out the definition loud. So, Git is a free and open distributed version control system designed to handle everything from small to very large projects with speed and efficiency. So those two words are one or some of the reasons why they created this tool, speed and efficiency. So they wanted speed and efficiency in the workflow. And another thing that you should note about this statement or this definition, they are two highlighted statements or words free and open source. Being free, you shouldn't pay any single coin or money to anyone to use this tool. And another word is version control. So version control on itself is a question and I'm going to be explaining it in the next slide. But first, let us look at the short history here. So it was developed by Linus Travold, written in these languages C, Java and Python. As I said, version control. So what is a version control? So version control is a system that records changes to a file or set of files over time so that you can recall specific versions later. Let's say when you create files, edit files, save files, or delete files. A simple live example, let's say me and you, we are working on a website and we push these changes to the live serv server so, but later on we realize that we made a mistake in our header section. Something is not working out right, maybe the slider is not working out right. Then we can revert or recall the previous version when we never had that slider and we push it back to the internet so that our users don't see that error. So we can remove the version that has the error and we put the previous version or any version that we had previously that was working correctly and we take it back to the live website. So that's one of the important things about this version control system. So you can easily recall specific versions later. Let's say we delete a file accidentally, we can revert back and we get that file. So it will still be on our system so long as we don't delete the whole repository and all the terms that I've been using you're going to be learning them in this video series and some of the terms that we're going to be learning as I said there is git add, git status, git commit, git push, git pull and so much more as we go on so you get to know what all these terms or statements do in your day as a developer, as a designer as anyone so long as you'll be using this tool git so fortunately the moment this video ends you're going to go rest watch other tutorials which is not bad but take some time visit that link i'm going to leave it in the description below download the git pro book this book was not written by me it was written by those guys who created this tool git then make sure you read through it because we may miss out some things in this video series but still I'm going to make sure we don't miss a lot or we may not miss <laughs> at all but take some time I may not explain everything very well or to your understanding then take some time read through this spare like one hour to two hour then read through the different commands how you can use git and it will go deep even in an advanced topics so make sure you check out that book. I'm going to leave the description, the link in the description below. Yeah, guys, 
I'm going to see you in the next tutorials. Peace, stay safe.